G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles. All right, so we've got another video about someone being stabbed again, but this one is absolutely crazy. I've got a little bit of footage here, which is from the actual incident. So check this out. And that is absolutely crazy. Like, I cannot believe this, especially like we've been talking about like how bad the stabbings are. And then there is a stabbing mass murder at the shopping center. So seven people have been murdered with a knife and um you know there are multiple more victims that are in hospital right now and one of those unfortunately is a nine month old baby so this guy uh apparently went into the shopping center at about three o'clock and then has left the shopping center and came back and started um, I believe it was in the Cotton On store. I don't know if this guy's had an issue because they 100% say that they know who this guy is now. Um, and, um, yeah, they, he just went in there for no reason and just started stabbing people. So there's been a lot of speculation whether this was a terrorist attack of some kind, but um, they believe already they just had a big conference that he is definitely not a terrorist and they believe that they know who the person is and that he definitely acted alone. There were some reports earlier that there may have been two stabbers, um, but there was only one stabber. And um, yeah, it is absolutely crazy. The guy had a big knife that was about that big. Um it's just blown my mind. And um, yeah, the police have shot and killed this man. This man is dead now, and um, which is lucky because if that guy had have ended up in prison, it was not going to be good for that guy. I can promise you that right now. But seven people dead, multiple victims still in hospital right now. Like, you you can't tell me there doesn't need to be a fucking royal commission in this country into the knife crime. Like, what does it have to take for something to happen? Like, seven people have been murdered. It was a mass murder today with a knife, and something needs to be done about it. If nothing gets done about it now, we are a broken, broken, broken society because, you know, this is... This is people are going to be scared to go outside after this bullshit. And I don't blame them because this is like, it is beyond a joke. It is absolutely out of control. What more can I say about this scenario other than it is absolutely bonkers and it is out of control. Um, anyway, guys, that's, that's, I thought I'd give you guys an update on that. And um, yeah, I'll continue to give you guys updates if I know more about it. But yeah, this is absolutely bonkers. Seven people dead, multiple victims. One of those people was a, um, one of those victims um, is a nine-month-old baby that is fighting for their life right now in, in hospital. Um, yeah, this is absolutely bonkers. And yeah, it has blown my mind and it is just sad. It's sad that seven people lost their life today. And um, I believe that this is something that as a society we can we can fix this um you know and i believe you need to start with taking all the knives out of out of the cheap shops you know like um the reject shop the two dollar shop all them cheap junk shops you know they sell big ass knives and they will sell them to anyone that has the cash same with woolies you can buy a whole knife set um and you don't need any id for it um, I, I think this is where the problem starts and I think that this is this is really what needs to happen is they're really, you know, stop worrying about fining people $45,000 for smoking a vape and really start cracking down on these people that are selling knives to kids because this is this is where it all starts and, and, and obviously this guy wasn't a kid this time but, you know, he, he 100% would have got that knife from Woolies or, or, or somewhere like that and um, yeah this is this is this is how we need to attack this problem you know by taking away knives and and you know if, if it if it so be it that we have to go into a shop and sh show ID and show that we need them knives to do it well then if that's what we have to do then that's what we have to do and um, 
yeah, like something needs to be done. We can't just not do nothing about this bullshit. This is a mass murder. This guy, you know, has tried to kill a lot more people than nine people, uh, seven people. And, um, you know, I just, I just really don't know what to say about it. Like, it is just messed up and something needs to be done about where people are buying their knives. I don't care what people say. I believe that that is where the problem starts. Um, you know, if the kid's angry and he can't get his hands on a knife, well, then it's going to stop this these kind of things from happening. You know, um, yeah, it's just way too easy for kids to get knives and, and, and I believe that's where the problem starts and, and that's where we need to attack it. I'm absolutely gutted by this. I hate this knife crime. It absolutely cuts me to my core. Being a victim of knife crime many times myself, um, yeah, this is really, really sad. Chaos Chronicles, we are. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.